Hi, I'm Jack from the Centre for Independent Journalism, Malaysia. Have you heard about the new Section 114A added to the Evidence Act 1950? A recent amendment places the onus on the accused in cases of online identity impersonation related to defamatory, libelous or seditious content. However well-meaning, this goes against one of the core principles of justice, innocent until proven guilty. The degree to which the act goes is very disturbing. The provisions cover the sites of the accused, for example in the case of a blog or online forum owner. It covers the accused's network, for example in the case of a shared office or home Wi-Fi. It even covers the accused's access devices, for example a laptop, tablet or smartphone. What if all of them were hijacked by tech-savvy mischief makers? What if someone creates an account in your name and uses it to post content they know will get you into trouble? Will the new act protect or punish you? The act will have serious repercussions on internet usage in Malaysia. It promotes fear and casts a chilling effect on the right to freedom of expression. It is against the spirit of the open web, where anybody can participate, create or innovate without fear or favour. The right to freedom of expression is at the heart of a culture of innovation and of a healthy, working democracy. This goes against Malaysia's own knowledge economy aspirations and its commitment to fundamental human rights. If you disagree with the amendment, let's get it repealed. Sign the petition.